Welcome back to Floppy Interviews. Today, we'll be talking about why Coco Melon is one of the worst shows that you can get your kid to watch. Number one, if you don't know what Coco Melon is, it's this really popular kids YouTube channel which they make shows. Like, well not shows, like they make episodes, really short ones about like, blah blah black sheep, um, and they do like nursery run, that sort of thing. Number one, Coco Melon is overly stimulating. The colors are so bright. Like, when I first saw the colors, I was shocked. And there's so many cuts. The amount of scenes in one episode are ridiculous. Someone did a study and found that the scenes, the average time for each scene is six seconds. So it's like this. Oh, look. One scene. And then you go. Way too fast, way too many cuts, because it's just ridiculous. I didn't even change the camera form, but anyways, doesn't matter. It's overstimulating, and overstimulation leads to addictiveness. And getting addicted to Coco Melon is not where you want your child to be in 2024. Or any time. Because we already have enough iPad kids, you know. I went to this little, um, hospital clinic once, and basically, because I do fever or something and basically there was a lot of kids there every single one of them either had an ipad or a phone and they were all under the age of you know and when their parents took away their device they started crying they couldn't function and that's that definitely says something about our generation well not my generation i'm still gen z ha and like all the, with all like the brain rot terms like Riz and Skibbity, it's not looking very good for our future of children. And that's why Coco Melon doesn't help because Coco Melon it's just really really boring. But it's exciting for children because they say the exact same things like wheels on the bus go round and round. Basically, if it's like a sing song thing and it's just a few times, that's fine. Like a nursery rhyme, it's a song basically. But Coco Melon they make it crazy and. Apparently, they have this, allegedly, they have this room where they try to develop strategies on how to keep the child's attention for the most amount of time. So, their, their focus is not education. Their focus is on, their focus is on attention. They want attention from children. They don't care about education. And education for our children is really important because they're at an age where they're easily influenced by what's around them. Children are all easily influenced by what is around them. And that's, oh gosh, floppy. And that's why Coco Melon is not good for our children. Yeah, so that's my take on why Coco Melon sucks. See you next uh, floppy interviews.